Papa YouTube family. It's your boy, Dwight. Welcome back to the channel, Silverback Siage. Hope all is well with everybody. First off, do me a huge favor. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And punch that bell icon so you can be notified when I post new content. Now, normally, I try to pick fragrances kind of within the season anymore that they fall in. But this one here is a potentially discontinued gem. And I wanted all of, you, all of my audience to know all about it before it actually gets discontinued and you can't grab it no more. This one here is for that good $65 to $70 price point on fragrancebuy.com, but I don't like you more on it. Keep it locked. Well, let's get right down to business. Today, I'm with the fragrance from Lalique, and it actually came out in 2017 called Ombre Noir. Let me make sure I get that name right. Now, this one here, I had never heard about it, but I was kind of recently watching a few other fragrance reviewers, and it was a lot of buzz over this fragrance that got started. So I'm going to bring it to my channel, too, and wanted to check it out, and this was a blind buy for me. First off, let's get to this box presentation. On the back, you'll see the same name. It's a 100 ml bottle, 3.3 fluid ounces. The top, you get the Lalique symbol. And on the bottom, basic product information and your batch code. Size Lalique as well. And then now, let's get to this awesome bottle presentation. On the top, you got the Lalique symbol or insignia. Bottom of your bottle, name of the fragrance, how many ounces, and basic batch code information. But let's get down to the fragrance. What does it smell like? Adam Myers is about average. Kind of just squirts out a straight stream that gets the back of your hand wet like, wet, like you see it right here. But that fragrance, though, let me get enlighten y'all on that. Main accords, you got spicy, woody, resinous, smoky, and sweet. Top notes of peppermint, fig leaf, Italian bergamot. Heart notes of frankincense, tobacco, cinnamon, papyrus. Base notes of cedar wood, cognac, myrrh, and tonka bean. Mm, mm, mm. So what do you get with this one? To me, the best way for me to sum it up for you guys would say... If you took Angel Share from Killian and mixed it with Paco Rabanne's uh, One Million Privé, mash those two fragrances up together, and this is what you would get right here. This one here, for me, is a very, very affordable masterpiece. And like I stated earlier in the video, this one here right now is on fragrancebuy.ca for around that $65 to $70 range, which is well below retail. Retail, this fragrance is $140. This one here, as far as longevity that I get out of it, I get eight plus hours, easy. Spray your clothes good with a nice amount of sprays, 10 plus hours with the fabric onto the skin. The vibe that I get from this one, in that opening, you do get a little bit of a pepperminty smell. The fig leaf is not a juicy, fruity fig. You get more of the leaf version of it. And I don't get a whole lot of bergamot, but a lot of that peppermint opening. But right off the bat, you also get the tobacco and you get a lot of cinnamon. That's what brings me to that comparison between Angel Share and uh, Papa Rabanne's One Million Privé, which is also discontinued. For the price point, though, Angel Share, you're going to you're gonna spend right around that $200 price point, maybe $165 -ish on discounters. One Million Privé, you can't even get no more unless you want to pay the aftermarket price on eBay, the high, high, three, four hundred dollars a bottle, which I wouldn't say pay that. But this one also, within the base notes, you get that cognac blast. So this is one of those ones when you having fellas night out, or you 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 got a nice Oxford on on date night, but you know you plan on doing some cuddle bottle activity later on in the day. This is one that will come to the forefront for that. Strength is awesome, but it's not one of those boozy scents to where it's so strong and just outrageous to where if you even decided you wanted to wear this to the office on more of a dress down type of scenario to where you just smell like a drunk. This thing is ultra smooth. 
and it makes me want to try to branch off into the house of Alik a little bit more because of, this is my first fragrance from Lalik, but it may be the best one. I don't personally know. But until lately, it's been getting its buzz on YouTube. I'd never even heard of this fragrance before. But for the money, I'm glad I blind bought it at that $70 price point. And this one right here, like I said, longevity is good. The scent profile is well above the price point. Uh, and it's very versatile as far as fall and winter time. I wouldn't spray this one probably a whole lot during the hotter months within the summer. And that's why I stated that this one's actually out of season. But it's amazing. So that's what made me bump it up in my rotation of my videos because I wanted you guys to get a chance to get your hands on it as well. Because this one here is a masterpiece and I always would like to have it in my collection. I like it enough to where I'm contemplating buying a backup bottle. And I don't do that for very, very many fragrances, but this one here is on point. If I had to rate it at a 1 out of 10, this one here is an 8.5 all day. Definitely going to be on a fall fragrance list near you, probably at the top of that top 10 when I put that together, or 12, depends on how many I decide to put on that list. This one here, by the end of this video, I recommend, I normally don't do this, I recommend that everybody get on there, get you a bottle of this before it's gone. Trust me, you'll thank me once you smell it. If you have any other offers from the House of La Liga and you think they are as, ma as amazing as I think this one is, leave it in the comments and let me know what you think about them or which ones I should get my nose on or at least get a sample of. But this one right here, two thumbs up in the, in the Siage family. That's my time. Peace.